Hello again, everyone. Deflect here for Urban Fair Gaming. Came to give you a guide for the Feral Druid Mythic Plus DPS. Uh, Feral Druid are amazing single target. Uh, they do a ton of damage single target. Uh, they're a little lackluster in AoE, but uh, they're still a little viable for Mythic Plus. They're obviously not the best spec for Mythic Plus, but they are a great boss killer for Tyrannical Week. So. They can do AoE, but you have to talent into it. And coming up in 9.2, they are getting a tier set to help out with their AoE, so that will only get better. Uh, you know, they don't really need help with their single target as they are one of the best in the game, but they do need some help with the AoE. There are a couple different things I'm gonna go into about here. I'll give you a, this is basic rotation. Don't, like this isn't the end all be all rotation. Feral is a dot class with a bite. Bite is going to be a huge damage dealer, but your dots are also going to be ticking, and there's different things you can do with your abilities. Now, uh, for Feral, sim your character. Just, just sim it. Uh, there will be some gear that will be best in slot uh, that you might not think is going to be best in slot that you have. So you can do a sim at raidbot.com and uh, find out what one works best for you. The power you'll want to use is Celestial Spirits. Uh, I make it on the legs. Convoke the Spirit cooldown is reduced by 50%, and its duration is reduced by 25%. Uh, Convoke the Spirit also has an increased chance to use an exceptional spell or ability. So obviously the covenant I am with is Night Fae, and the reason I'm with Night Fae is for the Convoke, because Convoke with the cat is great. Uh, PvP and Olaco Necro, or if you want to buff a uh, other DPS that you're with, and you're kind of going to be a buff slash damage class, you can go Kyrian. Kyrian might get a little bit more play in 9.2, because you can use the Covenant ability for Kyrian, and then also have your other Legendary. So right now, with just one Legendary, use the Convoke Legendary. Uh, when you have more, uh, there'll be a lot more in play. There'll be some actually great combinations of legendaries. Um, Rip has a 4% chance to make your next Ferocious Bite free. Going to be amazing. Dread of the Deep Focus should also be really good when Moonfire, Rake, Rip, or Rejuve are on a single target. Their effects are 40% increase. So uh, another great legendary to pair up with it. Uh, there'll be some testing and everything, but those are going to be some two very good legendaries. Uh, combo point generating abilities reduce the cooldown of berserk could see a bunch of play as well so uh, it all depends and even the last one here tiger's fury causes your next two finishing moves to restore two combo points so lots of choices coming into 9.2 and we won't know until we actually get uh, all the gameplay to figure out which one is best but uh, if you're gonna go for stats always agility is your best agility will be your best consumables as well so the feast will be best and also your spectral agility potion will be your best for that uh, getting into the secondary stats crit then mastery should be your basis and then again sim your character because once you reach caps and soft caps it might change on you for the talents talents are what i choose saber tooth great ferocious bite deals 20 percent increased damage and increases the duration of rip on your target by one second per combo point spent so usually you bite with five that will increase your rip by five seconds predator cooldown of tiger's fury resets when a target dies with one of your bleed effects active and tiger's fury has last uh tiger's fury lasts five additional seconds also not a bad play so i go with saber tooth but predator isn't terrible in mythic plus any one of these in the second row is good. I use Wild Charge just to, you know, warp to enemies. If you're having trouble staying alive, you use Renew. And then Tiger Dash is always an option as well. Uh, the two I work with in Mythic Plus are Balance Affinity and Resto. Uh, Resto just for the passive healing. And if the healer's really struggling, you can pop out Wild Growth and then uh, rejuve a couple people and pop back in. Balance Affinity is very useful for the extra 3 yard range, so that is great. Also, you can um, pop out and do a Balance Convoke as well, so the Owl Convoke isn't bad uh, as a Feral to do. And it also gives you Typhoon, and Typhoon is just awesome at knocking enemies back. Uh, for the next one, 
any one of these is viable again. This is a five minute cooldown. It will do extra DPS. If you pop out, use Heart of the Wild, Convoke with Balance Infinity, will do a bunch of DPS on a five minute cooldown. Not a bad play. Mass Entanglements is just Mass Entanglements. It's very useful in almost every situation. And we also have Mighty Bash, which is another stun on a 49 second cooldown. So depending on what you need, uh, really depends on which one you take. So take what you need and you know, go with the rest. <laughs> uh, Soul of the Forest will be your uh, one to use on level 40. As this is Mythic Plus, your best one will be Primal Wrath. It gives you another one to use when there's multiple enemies around. So finishing move that deals instant damage and applies rip to all enemies within 11 yards. Uh, basically, that will change the way you use your rotation a little bit, uh, but it does apply rip. So if you use that five points, it applies a 12 second rip. When uh, rip is, you know, if you use it on a single target with rip, it gives a 24 second. But five second rip, 12 second rip with five combo points is very good as well because you'll be using Primal Wrath a lot. I use Feral Frenzy. I've done some testing with Blood Talons, and I find I can get more DPS out of Feral Frenzy. Uh, it's just me personally. I Just the way it works, I get a lot more DPS. Uh, but Blood Talons also many, many people use when you use three different combo point generating abilities within four seconds. The damage of your next two rips or Ferocious Bite is increased by 30%. Um, yeah, if you're not waiting on any, you know, abilities and trying to build up some <laughs> rage using combo points, um, yes, then that's okay. But four seconds with three different combo points when your GCD is over one second is very, very fast to do. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, some of the time you are waiting because you are out of generated ability, so you will not, I don't have it all the time. Uh, whereas Feral Frenzy, you pop it and you get instant five combo points. Very nice. I, I I really like Feral Frenzy. So uh, that's basically the setup. You'll be using Prowl a lot. I'm a Night Elf, so I have Shadow Meld. Uh, you'll be using Mass Entanglement, Roots, um, you know, and a lot of different different things. But your main abilities will be Rake to uh, run from Stealth. Uh, it also applies to Bleed, so that's one of your dots. You'll be using Rip. As it applies a bleed, that is one of your dots. And you will also do thrash as that applies a bleed and is one of your dots. Uh, but when you're coming in, the opening thing you want to do is be in stealth and open with a rake. Rake, in, I'll do a multi-target one first. And then you open with a rake. I go into a thrash to get all the uh, other ones on, and then if I'm missing one combo point, I usually shred, and then primal wrath to apply rip to all the targets. Feral frenzy, and then if they're getting low, primal wrath, and then just make sure you're keeping up your rakes on uh, your targets as well. But big time abilities will be when you have primal wrath on them, also use swipe to do some damage. And you can see it's just getting up there and it will also build combo points that you can spend back on primal wrath this will be best with four plus targets where you just keep going back and forth with swipes and primal wrath and throw in the thrash when it's on cooldown so you can see just primal wrath and then on cooldown you will want to use your big big ability can be a berserk paired with a convoke the spirits so you can go into a quick berserk convoke the spirits and then you'll have primal wrath then you can frenzy wrath and then swipes and the swipes will do much much more damage primal wrath tiger's fury back into swipes and that'll be your four plus targets and if you have any extra combo points you can always uh, bite your main target and you can see how quick your DPS goes up on three targets. Uh, that is basically what you want to do is keep up. Primal Wrath is what you're going to spend it on four plus enemies. Keep up your Thrash just to have that extra dot on and swipe. Because swipe deals 20% increased damage against bleeding targets. Bleeding targets is your Thrash. 
and your rip is also a bleed. So when you Primal Wrath and then swipe, swipe is doing 20% more damage. That's the reason behind it. Single target is very close, but a little different. The only thing you're changing out is Primal Wrath for rip. So you will want to go into stealth, break, rip, thrash, and then it build up your combo points to bite. That's the main difference. So if you rake, it puts uh, the bleed on your rip, and then you thrash, and then you'll want to build up your combo points enough that you have five, and then bite. And then you can see with this Feral Frenzy, you get another one instant. So you just put on uh, Feral Frenzy, then bite again. And then you want to convoke with no combo points. You don't want to have combo points when you convoke because you will get them all back. So whatever you're doing, make sure you spend them, spend them on bleed or spend them on rip, spend them on something. Don't go in and, you know, sit there with combo points. See, when, you have, when you're full, do whatever you have to do to spend them and then hit your convoke because you can see you're, you're over capped on them anyway. So you want to use them before you do the convoke. That's the big trick. And that's pretty much more of a single target one. Again, throw in your berserk uh, before you convoke. Convoke, throw in your Berserk after. You basically, you can line up every third Convoke with a Berserk because you want to use Convoke on cooldown in almost any situation because it just is big, big damage. That's kind of the basic rotation. Another one to watch out for is your main. This is also your stun, but using this will not be as good as other situations. Like you, for a finishing move, your bite and your Primal Wrath will do more damage. If you have to use it for a stun, you have to use it for a stun and you need to stun, that that happens. But uh, if you don't have to use it, I recommend using Bite or Primal Wrath for your finishing move. That kind of sums up, sums up the beginner's guide to uh, Feral DPS Mythic Plus. Uh, go out there, because in 9.2, these are the Feral is only getting better as it is getting the AoE buff in very much needs so if you have any questions leave a comment below like share subscribe this was deflect firm affair gaming we'll see you in the next video